Hi guys, you are welcome to Essential Kitchen. So today we are going to discuss about cup and spoon measurements. And last time, this is the part two of our measurement class. Last time we discussed about scale measurement. So if you are still finding it difficult to measure with your scale, go back to my channel and watch scale measurements. If you are new to my channel, I say welcome. Welcome to Session Kitchen. If you like my video, don't hesitate to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, give me a thumbs up if you like my video. Thank you very much for watching. Okay, now let's look. measurement cup measurements can be used for both grams and milligrams which means that using cup for measurements can fall into liquid or solid cups measurements can be used for both grams and milligrams remember we talked about a uh, measuring in grams and kilograms with your scale now with the cup you can only measure in grams and in milligrams meaning that you can measure liquid or solid ingredients with your cup unlike scale that you can measure only solid ingredients notes Solid ingredients are measured in grams, which white liquid ingredients are measured in milligrams. What does that mean? Solid ingredients such as flour, icing sugar, cocoa powder, they are measured in grams. White liquid ingredients such as water, vinegar, liquid milk, etc. Are measured in milligrams. Now, in grams, one cup of flour, one cup of leveled flour is equal to 125 grams. Why in milligrams? One cup of water, one cup of water is equal to 250 ml that's why when you see this cup you will see 250 ml that is one cup but when you fill this cup when you fill it with flour is equal to 125 grams meanwhile when you fill it with liquid stuff like water it is now weighing 250 and L. Do you get that? Now, cup comes in different sizes. Cup comes in different sizes and is measured, and each measurement differ from each other. It comes in different sizes you can see this is one cup this is half cup this is quarter cup just like that and it has measurement numbers this is one over two cup this is one over three cup this is one over four this is one over eight so whenever you want to measure anything you look for the number that will suit your measurement Make use of it. Then, um, let's talk about measurement properly with a cup. How you can measure 
perfectly well with your cup. Now some people will come, they will come and pack floor like this. They will hit floor like this. Like this. It's totally wrong. It will not give you the accurate measurement. Let me show you the perfect way to measure your ingredients. The solid one, like floor. Take a look. You can use your bare hands, you can use anything at all. But this is the right way to measure with your cup. Use your bare hands, pack some floor, and pour inside your cup, just like that. Just like this. Then after filling your cup, you now look for a flat like this is a flat knife. You can look for ruler, you can look for anything. And you are going to use this knife and level it. And just level it. So this is the accurate measurement. Accurate measurement. You pour it. Like I said, one cup of leveled one leveled cup of flour is equal to 125 grams. Meaning that when you uh, measure this, this for like four cups, it will give you 500 grams. Do you understand? One, two, three, four. Four leveled cup is 500 grams. Why eight level cups will not give you one kg? So you can as well use the cup and achieve your kilogram, your kg. One level cup is equal to one twenty-five grams. So four level cups will not give you five hundred grams. Why eight level cups will not give you uh, one kg? Do you understand? One kilogram, one kg. So let's look at our spoon measurements. Measuring spoon comes in different sizes also. Like we have here. We have a this is a one TBSP. One TBSP. And this is a one TSP. We have a, you know, now um, the difference between one T TSP and one TBSP is that this one is tablespoon, tablespoon. Why this is a teaspoon? This one is a teaspoon. So if you don't have your spoon, you can also you can as well use your this is baby spoon, this is adult spoon, this is temple spoon, and this is tea spoon. So if you don't have this, you can also make use of this. Just note that there's a difference between one tablespoon and one teaspoon. In short form, one TBSP. Why this one is one TSP? Thank you very much. You've come to the end of this class. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, please subscribe, share, like, and comment. Also, give me a thumbs up. Thank you. I really appreciate you.